Alright, so this is our Lushinsky clone, the Super Cat's Meow. Um, I've actually put a little finger grip here and in here because I'm finding, for me personally, that's what works best for hand launching. We've got it trimmed out, just you trim it out the same way you do like the uh, Super Protege or something like that, except you're doing it hand launched. And we're going to see how she goes. Hi there, I'm Josh Finn from JNH Aerospace. Several, about uh, six months ago, I uploaded a video of this aircraft. This is the Mich Mikhail Yashinsky TIT uh, F1N hand launch glider. The response to that video has been tremendous, as has been the response to the flying video that I did on it. Um, this is a very, very nice airplane. This one's uh, in the mid 7 gram range. These are manufactured in Russia. They're, they're a very high precision machine. Um, but they're very difficult to get here in the U.S. And so in response to people wanting it, more information on how to get these, we introduced the Cat's Meow. And y'all have, have really been excited by this airplane. And, and because of this, a, a number of you have gotten into indoor hand launch glider. And, and so that, that has been awesome. But a lot of you have asked the question of, okay, so I've, I've got the cat's meow, I've flown it to my limit, what next? I want to do competitive, you know, seriously competitive uh, flying of indoor hand launch. And while this is a very fun airplane, and it flies beautifully, and in a cat one site you can get about 30 seconds with it, um, the, the, the record still stands at, uh, in the upper 40 second range. So, we at JNH Aerospace have heard your pleas, and we are pleased to announce the Super Cat's Meow. So, what is the difference between the Cat's Meow and the Super Cat's Meow? Well, this is a traditional type of an airplane in large part. Uh, it does have carbon cladding on the fuselage, but it's mostly balsa airplane. This aircraft is basically a domestically produced um, this is an American version of the Yashinsky glider this airplane uses a tapered carbon boom it has tapered foam flaps very you know the best uh, contest grade wood I'm, I'm able to muster this is this is the thing that y'all have been waiting for and in fact I am very pleased with the outcome of this because the result is that this glider is actually lighter than the Yashinsky glider. This airplane is 6.8 grams. And it is 6.8 grams in universal flight mode. So this aircraft has a catapult hook and, and grip back here so you can fly this airplane in AMA class unlimited catapult launch. Uh, for those of you who don't have the the tremendous throwing arms of some of these young jocks, um, you can still enjoy the ultimate levels of performance. And this airplane will hold its own against any unlimited catapult glider in Category 1 flying. It will also hold its own in AMA hand launch and FAI F1N. So, with that, I'm going to send you along to video of the very first flying session with this airplane, and um, I didn't go into, didn't show any video uh, of trimming it out, uh, but, but the bottom line is that the only trimming I had to do was to add some up elevator and some left rudder, sorry, right rudder, there we go, um, and I think I may have washed out the wing tips a little bit, let me see here. Yeah, I washed them out just a tiny, tiny little bit. So this airplane is basically as it came out of our build video 
um, where I added in some up elevator, and that's pretty much it. I did move, I did cut off the end of the the bumper here to slide the CG back a little bit because I, I just felt like it was requiring too much um, up elevator to to fly well. But that's really all I did. So this is, as you'll see in the video, this is an incredibly stable airplane. You just throw it up there, and it snaps into the glide, and it floats around. Um, I wasn't throwing it particularly high um, in javelin mode. I, I, I can't throw it exceptionally high. I can throw it a little bit higher using the Euro style method and hopefully we'll get some video of me doing that in, in the near future. But the bottom line is I am pleased to present you with the ultimate indoor glider. So please enjoy. Check it out on our website. The kits are $55 and, uh, and, and we're excited to see what y'all can do with them. See ya. Twenty-five point three. Ah. 
Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.